Hello and welcome to SGN Tech Forum. So in previous video, you have seen how to install Node-RED, how to work with Node-RED UI, how to uh, create flows and work with them. Now we are focusing on a use case called Node-RED dashboard. Essentially what we want to do, we want to build a dashboard which can show us real time data of uh, whatever we are sensing, right? Our sense, uh, uh, like we can sense temperature, we can sense humidity and whatnot. In industrial setting, you can you want to sense a lot of things. But once you are sensing, you really want to have a, a dashboard where you can see those data in real time. And for that, we are going to focus on Node-RED dashboard. So let's go ahead and understand what is Node-RED dashboard and how it is different from regular Node-RED UI where you create your workflows. All right, so what is an in agenda? Introduction to Node-RED dashboard. Then what is Node-RED dashboard? How to install Node-RED dashboard? Because by default, when you install Node-RED, dashboard is not installed. So you need to install it separately. Then we will see how to create a dashboard, adding widgets. And finally, we will go to a demo where we will actually build a use case. That means we will sense some data using sensors and our MQTT uh, publishers will publish that data to broker, which in turn will be received by subscriber and subscriber uh, value will be displayed in Node-RED dashboard. So a perfect end-to-end -end demo, get excited about that. All right, so introduction to Node-RED dashboard, not just the Node-RED UI, but the dashboard. Dashboard is a powerful tool that allow you to create interactive web-based dashboard for your IoT projects, IoT environment. It can be very well used in production. With Node-RED dashboard, you can easily visualize data from sensor, your control devices, and interact with them in real time. That's the keyword, in real time. What is Node-RED dashboard? As I mentioned, it is a separate from regular Node-RED workflow or UI. Node-RED dashboard is a user interface framework built on top of Node-RED. Of course, you need to have Node-RED installed, which is flow-based programming tool for IoT application. Node-RED is a flow-based programming tool for IoT application. The purpose of Node-RED dashboard is to provide an easy way to create web-based dashboard that display data from IoT device and allow users to interact with them. That means you can uh, display the data and you can send some values and or interact with them. With Node-RED dashboard, you can create custom dashboard by dragging and dropping widget onto the canvas. So it is as simple as dragging and, and dropping onto the canvas. Widget are small UI component that display data in various ways such as charts, gauge, buttons, text box. So basically it's the typical dashboard component for visualization. You can also use Node-RED extensive library of nodes to connect to different devices and services and process data before displaying it on dashboard. And you will see those component when we go to the demo section. Right, what's the next? Uh, installing Node-RED dashboard. Installing Node-RED dashboard is a straightforward process. You will realize when we go into demo, first you need to have Node-RED installed on your system. Previously, we have already installed Node-RED on our system and running MQTT services. If you haven't watched that video, please go and watch Node-RED series playlist. If you do not have it already, you can download it from official Node-RED website and install it using package manager like NPM or SnapD. Uh, once you have Node-RED installed, you can install Node-RED dashboard by opening the Node-RED editor, clicking the hamburger menu. Let's not worry about that. We'll see that in action. All right. Creating the dashboard. Creating a dashboard in Node-RED dashboard is very easy. Once you have installed the module, you can create dashboard by clicking on dashboard tab in the Node-RED editor. So once you install Node-RED dashboard component, you will see there are widgets which are available and you can simply drag and drop them and uh, make some easy configuration and like you want to change things you want to change name etc you can all the, can do all the kind of customization so that it look appropriate as per your case use case very straightforward you can also use node-red extensive li library and um, uh, other things right adding widgets node-red dashboard provide a wide range of widget with that you can use to display data in various form uh, commonly are 
gauge is gauges are used uh, uh, very much if you want to display some kind of like a pressure or temperature um, value then we have charts we have button text box drop down menu what not and each widget has its own set of property that you can customize uh, to control its appearance and behavior all right and now finally a time to get into demo so that we can simply see how to install it and how to start working with it okay let's go to demo here we are so we have node red installed now you can click on hamburger menu go to manage uh, uh, settings under user setting select palette within palette you have to select install because we want to install a new package search for node red dashboard all right so settings palette install find node red dashboard you will see the component will be displayed you can read about node, node red dashboard from node-red.org it is it has very nice description how to install where to find things and about different component as you can see on the right right hand side all right so we have found node red dashboard let's go ahead and click install okay installing node red dashboard yes so it is asking you before installing educate yourself about from the documentation etc we have done that so let's go ahead and say install okay as you install it's not very um, process heavy or heavy package it will be done very quickly and now you can see node red dashboard is installed and these new palettes are available to use and they are addition to what you have in node red ui and you can see there is a, another grouping called dashboard and all these new palettes are available all right so you can see we have button drop down switch and whatnot uh, right all those components are here let's start looking into them one by one or at least one or two and once we have fair amount of understanding we'll create end-to-end -end workflow all right so what i have done i have drag and drop gauge on my workspace and as you can see you can go to property you can uh, uh, change the width coloring you can have your own uh, CSS selector and uh, change it entirely. So I'm going to do some very simple thing here. All right, and this is we are adding a new dashboard group config node, and I'm going to call it my IoT dashboard. Okay, so that that will be our landing page my iot dashboard and within that we can have multiple uh, widgets like gauge um, slider text charts etc all right you can so once you create add a new dashboard group config node it is enabled by default navigation menu is visible so everything is okay you can pretty much leave it to default i don't understand all the options as of now but uh, not much needed all you have to do create a new group under properties and as you create a new group you can visit your dashboard and as you can see uh, under properties there are various things you can check you can change the um, label you can change the color gradient and all so that hmm, you want to see how it looks like and now what we are doing we are actually changing the range for gauge especially and i have changed the name as well as temp okay so as you can see the gauge is now changed to temp and it is part of which group my iot dashboard group so this widget is associated with that particular dashboard all right so you have to create a dashboard group and within that dashboard group you can add your different widgets UI control is very interesting one. I would advise you to read through, uh, read about a UI control. It is very powerful. And we have notification, like you can uh, edit your message payload, send email, and so many things you can do. I'm just scrolling, touching on like one or two real quick, right? And then so obviously you have to deploy just like other uh, workflow. You also have to hit deploy for your dashboard and here you can see property appearance um, 
documentation, all those things. Uh, you can add some descriptions, but all pretty much by default it looks good. So we understood how what is the what are the uh, widgets available under dashboard, how to install dashboard, how to customize dashboard, and we have also created our very first dashboard by creating a group config node. All right, so I'm collapsing all of them. You can see more from common to storage they comes from node red ui versus dashboard is you have to install addition now once you create your group node config how you can access the dashboard that is the question and to answer that question it's very easy earlier we were accessing our node red ui using ip address colon port number and the port number is 1880 by default for dashboard what do you have to do you have to say ip address colon port slash ui and that means you want to uh, go to your dashboard so please go through the documentation node red documentation it's very helpful now we have configured our uh, grouping and our very first dashboard uh, widget Let's go and see, as you can see, this is our dashboard, which I named as my IoT dashboard, and it has a temp gauge. And how I'm going there, I'm going using IP address colon port slash UI. That's how you get redirected to Node Red, Red dashboard. All right, now it's time to build something end to end. And for that, we will go back to Node Red UI. And from Node Red UI, we will mix and match things. Okay. So, to save some time, I have already created the workflow which I'm going to talk about. Okay. So, at very first, you can see this is the inject function. And it is coming from common inject, inject a message into flow either manually or at a regular interval. So, what we are injecting? Let's double click. You can see I'm injecting a payload of 30 and also I'm associating it with a topic called temperature sense sensor. Okay, so it's done. Here it's pretty much all we are doing is sending a value of 30. That's it. Where it goes, it goes to MQTT out node, which is a MQTT publisher. So it says temp pub. It's sending it to the topic called temp pub. But I think uh, a better way to say this is it is sending to the topic of temp. However, let's name it temp pub. All right. So we are sending uh, to the topic temp pub whatever value we are receiving from the inject function. Okay. And obviously, it has a broker associated. You can see we are running server, which is MQTT broker services on localhost 1883. And you, you can watch the earlier video where we uh, installed the MQTT broker. All right. So, so far on the uh, left hand side, we have an inject function, which is injecting uh, uh, a value to MQTT. Uh, publisher and this value is published to the broker now broker is obviously listing for all kind of topic so what we need we need a subscriber and here we go yes it is mqtt in node which is subscribed to a single topic and what we are going to subscribe we are going to subscribe to again mqtt uh, temp the same topic right so whatever we are publishing we are subscribing to the same topic and that's where I'm going to say temp, right? And it is also talking to MQTT broker. So this is end-to-end -end flow, inject function, injecting a value, and this uh, publisher is publishing that value to broker, which is running on local host, hence it is invisible here. 
and uh, then we have a mqtt subscriber which is subscribing uh, for that same topic and getting that value of 30 from uh, sub, uh, publisher so what is this this is not a debug function but what is this this is coming from dashboard so what i did i have chosen a gotch function and uh, renamed it basically yeah this is the gotch function add a gotch type widget to the user this is the this is essentially a gotch function because i can show you if you bring a gauge and that's how it looks like so let's cancel it out and we will delete this so let's see this as you can see this gauge function is tied to the group what we created earlier so that means it will be displayed in this dashboard type is gauge and it is getting uh, i have renamed it as temp dashboard all right so whatever value my subscriber is getting it will be shown in this gauge right so now you have got the idea that if i have sensor sensing some temperature in the field but uh, i have a subscriber which can send that information to node red dashboard and the data will be displayed right so as we made some changes you can see the blue dot started appearing that means the node has some modifications uh, and it need to be redeployed right so we will go to the deploy function and we will see here either you can do a full deploy modified flow and all those things so i'm going to just say full deploy and then deploy successfully deployed all the blue nodes are gone let's go back to our dashboard and see here you can see there is my gauge and which is named as temp and then this is my i2 dashboard essentially and it has two widgets from dashboard one is gauge and another is slider and if i refresh it because we made some changes you should see it is coming as 30 all right let's change something in real time so what we are going to do we are going to change the temp value to 50 so about that 50 done and as you can see here we have made changes so let's uh, deploy full deploy go to dashboard without even refreshing the page you can see the value has changed to 50 that's how it is in real time so today my publishers are simulated that means they are part of node red uh, simulation but if even if you have a field uh, sensor it can send data and if that data is received by your right subscriber immediately you can see those values showing up in node red dashboard so that is the power of node red and uh, a very lightweight software i would say but it can do wonders so if you start using it in your project and uh, yeah you have i hope you like it and uh, let me know how it goes uh, i'm always very eager to hear uh, your feedback your queries so do let me know and keep learning thank you very much.